Good morning, folks. Shorter show to hit the top stories today as we've got more coming later and two videos uploaded after the news yesterday to check out. We'll start with one of the two doomed comets heading in towards the sun. We will be back to those. But first, yesterday we had a full update to the Mobile Observatory project, and this is coming together very, very well. Now, the video from later last night is being censored in many countries and restricted on mobile devices. But folks, this is 2014. Didn't you know you can get around anything? Let's start beneath our feet where a double hit on the Pacific Ridge puts the American coastlines on watch from Alaska to Chile. We also had the second rare rumble in Europe in as many days, this one larger than Germany's the day before. While I wouldn't lump Democrats all into this beast, the facts are out, and I promise this article will read something intimately familiar to veterans of this channel. Quickly, we're heading down under and at New Zealand where precipitable water and the cloud convergences have increased about double in about 24 hours. Going to be a different day for many of you. The system that flooded Serbia and the Eastern Bloc for days and days should be sputtering while the Western system atop Ireland and the UK is strengthening. Take a look at the temperature differentials between, say, Latvia and Northern Africa. Look backwards to anyone else, it's actually just the new normal of these extreme swings. Meanwhile, the Northern Severe Watch Zone in the US ended up taking just that, with one area seeing the largest hail in decades. We also have significant flooding to the north in Canada. They are evacuating. The convergence in the central states remains, driving a ton of heat and moisture directly up the breadbasket. Meanwhile, we're in the second day of frost warnings in central Ohio. It's almost June. We also need to monitor the coastal effects of the North Pacific lows as they should be getting stuck in position any time now. Top space image of the day comes from Hubble via the ESA website. It's the auroras of Saturn. For the best look, you'll need to create your own movie on HelioViewer, but we do have one dead comet and another tracking in right behind him this morning. That's about the most exciting thing doing up there. The solar wind is seeing density jolts, but with this weak speed, our planetary shield beats back to plasma and protects us without issue. In terms of solar flaring, the story is even worse. Grand minimum, here we come. Remember, according to scientists at Lockheed Martin, NASA, and various universities in the US and Europe, it's not just that we have fewer sunspots, but they're weaker and less active sunspots. You've been watching it here for three years every day. In the evening news last night, we called out the only eruption threat to be that northern filament. She's indeed destabilized and harmlessly spread into the upper corona. Speaking of the corona, the fields are spinning the southern opening out of sight and bringing in the northern positive. We have mid-range power all around. Right now, the action shown earlier from the Pacific Ridge has my eyes on the shaking as much as anything else. It's a trigger point. Please catch yesterday's other videos. You guys rock the Mobile Observatory project. Now it's time to make sure we come to your town and see you. Use the email provided to you in that update yesterday. And if you can access Sinking Ship and Rising Phoenix, try to watch that one too. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.